Hi folk, one of my favorite topics as our walk with Jesus is prayer because we don't know what a day will bring to us. Paul in fact says to the New Testament church, Paul the Apostle, he said pray without ceasing. So it's an ongoing thing. But you know when you're in lockdown or isolation, you sort of think, I, I don't know what to pray for anymore. I don't know how to pray, etc., etc. It's interesting that Jesus was asked by the disciples, they said, teach us to pray. Prayer is important. Uh, prayer fuels our lives. It keeps us buoyant, keeps us focused on heaven. It keeps us focused on the prize. And you know, for me, I think of the tabernacle in the wilderness when I think, Jesus, I don't know how to pray, what to pray for. I immediately am, am drawn to Psalm 100, which talks about partly about the tabernacle in the wilderness and all the various bits of furniture in the tabernacle of in the wilderness. And it says this, the psalmist says, enter, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. And of course, there's the outer court and then there's the inner court, the holy place, then the holies of holies. So, so for me, prayer is entering into his presence with thanksgiving and his courts with with praise and as you come in through that curtain in the tabernacle in the wilderness to your immediate left is the altar of burnt sacrifice which immediately reminds me of the cross i thank god for the cross i thank him that the cross speaks of his forgiveness i thank you that his cross that he that his cross speaks of grace that god's given me his unmerited favor everything that i don't deserve as a human being I receive at the cross. I receive life eternal at the cross. I receive cleansing of my past. My past is history because of the cross. So that's the altar of burnt offering. Then you move towards the holies of holies or the holy place and you come to the laver. It reminds me a little bird bath. Uh, at the bottom of the laver is a, a piece of tin that's been uh, 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 beaten out by the the scribes or the priests so it's like a mirror it's like looking into a mirror so uh when i pray i say thank you lord that i can look into the mirror of your word and i can wash myself with the washing of the water by the word i remind myself the of the goodness and kindness of god what the scripture says about me as i look into that mirror I remind myself that when the Father sees me, He sees me through the lenses of the mirror of the Word of God or the Word of God, the lens of the Word of God. My life is washed uh, in that laver. Then I go through five poles, five poles that hold up the, the tent in the inner court. Uh, those five poles represent, I believe, the fivefold ministry of Jesus. Uh, he's both apostle, he's prophet, he's evangelist, he's pastor and teacher. You know, the apostle reminds me, he's the apostle of my faith. He reminds me in my prayer life that I need to keep praying outward looking prayers because that's what the apostolic bring. They remind us that the gospel it needs to be taken to the whole world to make disciples of the whole world. Um, the prophetic reminds me of pointing people to Jesus because I believe that's the primary, besides training people uh, in the prophetic, the prophet will come and point us to Jesus like John did to his disciples. In John chapter 1, he said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. The evangelist reminds me to stay outward looking as well keep my head in all things and do the work of an evangelist talk to people about jesus then you walk into the holy place to your immediate left is the lampstand that uh, the oil that was pressed the the olives were pressed every day by the priests to keep that lampstand that golden lampstand which represents prayer or the holy spirit or revelation Keep that uh, buoyant, keep that uh, uh, effective in your life, keep that open in your life. Uh, you spend time uh, in prayer. That lampstand, that revelation that only the Holy Spirit brings is fluid in our lives. To the right of the lampstand, in front of the lampstand, is the showbread, which speaks to me of the life of Jesus. Jesus 
is our bread of life and we feed on him on a daily basis. Uh, I turn to the right, walk towards the holies of holies and there's the incense altar, the altar of incense. It reminds me that as my prayers go up to heaven on a daily basis, that there's an angel, a revelation talks about an angel in heaven that fills that golden censer with the, the prayers of the saints. And at, at the right time, at the right time, turns it upside down and brings uh, a change to the earth, brings breakthrough to the earth just at the right time. Then I'm encouraged to, to come into the holies of holies where immediately in front of me is the mercy seat where the blood was placed on the mercy seat once a year by the high priest. I'm reminded of Hebrews that says, the writer to the Hebrews says, I can, we can come into uh, God's presence on a daily basis uh, without fear. Uh, I call it his lounge room where we can come and spend and have audience with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There's heaven to supernatural beings, to uh, archangels looking down on the mercy seat. They reminded daily that the Lamb of God has been slain from the foundation of the world. What a beautiful picture of prayer. Folk, it, it helps us with our prayer life. Can I say this, that always be spirit-led, be Holy Spirit led when you pray. And this is a beautiful outline for us to follow. If we're not too sure, we just start at the cross, start with uh, praise and thanksgiving, start immediately at the cross and go right through to the holies of holies. Let not your heart be troubled. God bless.